So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit there. Ow! If I can get it to go in there. No, that really hurts. morning guys girls are still sleeping it is almost eight o'clock holy cow anyway I wanted to show you what I have planned for myself today I am so super excited so we're homeschooling and it's time to get everything organized and ready for that and it's overwhelming a bit to know where to start even what to teach so I showed you some of the curriculum that we bought but that's not all we bought I bought a bunch of downloads especially like Canadian educational downloads so last night I made Sam print it all off for me so this is what I got this is what I got first of all I got um, some lesson planner and all that looks like I got a couple of them printed off I'll have to print off more so I'm going to do a month at a time so there's my monthly planner it just has the uh, um, days of the month and I or the months of the year and I will schedule in what I want us to do. This is my weekly planner so this will help me for narrow it down so we know what we're doing every day and I'll give the girls a copy of that so they know what we're doing every day. So then I got a bunch of stuff. I got all of this is curriculum. A lot of it is geography and science and I got all of these books. Basically probably about six months of work as well as math and English and reading and all the other stuff that goes with it. But yeah, I'm so stoked. And today when the girls are up and they are doing whatever they're doing, actually Gabby's gonna help them. Gabby's going to help Sophie make soap today. While they're doing that, I'm gonna get together my lesson plan for the month and then break it down by the week and then put all that stuff organize it all. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited for me? I hope you are because it took so much strength to decide to homeschool because you know when you stand alone or apart from the way that other people do stuff, everybody is against you and people who don't understand and don't know about it, they don't, they're against you. Almost everybody's against you but when you stay strong, make a decision that's right for you, you feel so good inside and I know that this is the right decision for for us, I just know that it is. For our very first injury of the summer, just wait, I'm gonna rinse it. Gabby got a boo-boo on her toe. Did you just pull back the, no, the nail? No, I scraped my, no. You just scraped that it on part. the pavement? All right, let's do a clean up here. Put some water on there. Oh, look. Look, you got it underneath your toe. I know, too. All right, so do you think, what do you think we should do? I don't you know. You wanna get a Band-Aid? Wash it and put a Band-Aid on it, yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to like wipe it with a cloth. I need water for my shoe. Did you get blood on your shoe? Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Mom, it really stings. Look at that. Mom, it really stings. All right, well, let's go inside. Do you think you could go inside? Well, I could. We'll get you inside and get you all fixed up. Mm -hmm. All right, do you think you can it walk stings. or you want me to carry you? I can walk. All right, all right, let's go in. Sophie. Sophie wants to doctor you up. No, no, I think I should do it. Oh, you see what you've done? You've totally... Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Hurry up. Okay, you've totally skinned your toe. There's a big chunk of... Oh, just wait. You want me to do it? It feels good when you put the water on it. Which... Ow! Not too tight though. Okay. I'll just wipe it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Sometimes it's better when you. So you can put. Open this band aid. No, I'm putting the band aid on. All right. Well, sh you can put a little gob of stuff on there. I also have this. I'm doing everything. All right. I would need to soak it. I think we should put a, pad, a gauze pad on it. So basically you've stubbed your toe. That's what that's called, stubbed your toe. First stub of your toe ever. No, I stubbed my toe earlier, like before. Not this bad though. And you've got a cut underneath the skin. I know, all right, underneath let's see. Underneath the nail. Yeah. We wrap your toe in this little gauze, it'll protect your toe. And then we'll secure it with the Band-Aid. Fine. 
So we'll put some cream on there so that it doesn't get any. No, no, no. No cream. No cream. No cream will make it feel better. How do you put this on? So if we go like this. This is wrong. And then we wrap it in a band-aid, but you should put cream on there because when it starts to when it starts to heal, it's gonna get stuck to that if you don't have cream. You want cream? Okay, let's do some cream. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit there. Ow! If I can get it to go in there. Oh, it really hurts. All right, so we won't use the cream. All right, let's put the band-aid on. Just put the cream on here a little bit. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you're not screeching. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that much, like a knee cut. Yeah, knee cuts hurt the worst, huh? Yeah, it's a big square one. Yeah, and you had some pretty bad knee cuts in your life, haven't scooter. you? Yeah, all right. But this is our first real injury of the summer, and the summer's almost over. Okay. <sighs> Give me the Band-Aid. Oh, man, it really stings when you do that. Do you want to just leave it clear? you want to just put a Band-Aid on? Yeah. What do you want to do? Leave it clear? Just not put the stuff on there and just leave it. Like that? Uh, you just want to leave it like that with no band-aid? No band-aid. I'm not going to lie. It's like, feels good to put something on it, keep it clean. It feels like you're doing something. But on, Okay, that's a good open. idea. But honestly, I just leave all my cuts open to the air. They just heal up so much faster. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving a hole open. Okay. Just put the band-aid right there. There. All right, so should we get you uh, some crutches? No. Don't need any crutches? I walk, but oh, I Oh, you're crutches. a growing up girl. Well, you're gonna be a woman soon. Hands and other foot. She's got blood on this toe. A little bit of blood. From my other foot. Blood on her fingers. It's not wet enough. All right, come over here and let me doctor you while you're here. Yeah, look at the blood on her shoe. I want to do my shoe. All right, let's show them what you've got going on. Okay. Mom, give me a wet piece of paper towel. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but behind her ear, she always gets like a cradle cap kind of rash. And usually in the summer, it goes away, but not this year. So weird, because usually all the chlorine and all the swimming that we do, it goes away, but not this year. So, I've been putting on some antibiotic lotion. It hasn't really been doing much, but it does clear it up a little. It doesn't clear it up permanently. I don't know what else to do. Let's put some of this cream on your ear. What? I need my phone. You want to just lay there and look at your phone for a bit? Okay, where's your phone? Okay. All right, so this is what I've got done so far. I've got this new calendar stuff. So all the days of the week. The months. So I have all those. I think we're going to color these numbers and put them on some cardstock so they're nice and thick and durable. I've got part of our schedule figured out. I have our religion for the first week all planned out. I'm super excited about it with activities and a story, a Bible story and stuff like that. So I have, this is all Gabby's pile of social studies work to add to all her workbooks that she has. This is all Sophie's and these are her um, list words, her spelling words, her word wall words that we're gonna make a wall out of. I just have to go get binders to put all that stuff in, put that stuff in them. I have our schedule mostly set up. I have an idea of how I want to do it. I'm gonna do all of our school work in the morning and then at quiet time in the afternoon we'll be reading and our computer-based program because they are going to be doing a computer-based program and the reason I planned it out like that is because um, I'm thinking they're going to get like hooked on that and want to stay on the computer and in the afternoon here they can work on their school work on the computer for five hours if they want to um so yeah that's what I got going so far I'm super excited I'm so excited you guys don't even have a clue what I need to get still is I need to get them both a novel to read, an age-appropriate novel, and then we always read a book together. So I need to work on that this week. It is actually cool like fall. It's like, was cool this morning. We came outside to play. That's when Gabby used her scooter little thing and stubbed her toe. It's hot now, but not like dying hot and not like swimming hot. So I think it's almost time to take this big baby down. See all the leaves on the bottom? It's cold. What's the temperature? Oh. oh, all that rain, 
flooded the pool. It's too deep. And let's leave it in for a minute and see. Literally, the kids are not going to go in here again because it's just not going to get warm enough at night to heat it up. So we're probably going to take it down so we can grow grass there again before the end of the season. All right, let's see. What's the temperature in there? Thinking probably 70. It's about that time where I start cleaning up the backyard and putting stuff away for the fall. Before I do anything though, I need to address this huge bush growing in front of the window. Look at that. It is horrible. I have not to see it growing up in front of the tree. I have not been out here all summer to take care of all this growth and mess. The trouble is that the people who planted that garden planted all these bushes that have huge prickles on them, like prickles this big. So getting in there to cut anything down is a nightmare and wanting to cut the stuff down is a nightmare because it hurts. Yeah. All right, I found a glove, just one, but I know it will help me. You guys love this weather? No, I'm getting okay. it alone. Yeah, but it's nice and cool. Don't you think it's cool? No. I hate it. Guys, let me go in. Oh. You got a bump? All right, we'll come down out there. I have bug spray. All right, now I have the smaller clippers. I'm clipping this bush. It's a big, huge red bush. I just like to make it look nice. Symmetrical, you know? I'm a grasshopper, my bug girl. Look, it's right there. Right in that leaf. You see it? Oh my, that's a huge one. Yeah, you can get them. You're not afraid of them. They don't bite. Because you don't. Yeah, when did you become afraid? That's crazy. Here, let me hold your stuff. Okay. Woo! Ooh. See? Touch him. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt. Sometimes. Oh, you're losing him. You went right in. Oh! He's in there somewhere. Oh, got him! Got him? Got, got, got him? Let's see. Glassy. Amazing, my bug girl. Can't wait to study bugs in homeschool. Do you want to study bugs in homeschool? Uh -huh. We are headed out to the store. I want to get some folders for my homeschool stuff. Girls are playing Pokemon in the back there. And it's funny, we don't do, we don't go anywhere anymore without playing Pokemon, do we? Nope. I, just... I play Pokemon. Well, mom hugs her phone. Yeah, it's true. I play Pokemon at night. Do you play Pokemon at night? Not Pokey yet. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we're headed to the store. We'll see you there. Yeah, look at all this stuff for school. Amazing. What's this one? Teaching prompts. I'm right here. That might be good. All right, in you come, little beast. Come on, Toby. Come on, Toby. Come on. I remember when Cookie Dough first came to us oh, and mom, that's his mom. she was a puppy mill dog in the worst way and she that's wouldn't come inside either. Ooh, don't get dog hair in it. What is it? What'd you that's get? Let's see. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just want to feel it. Why? It feels so cool. Oh, that's cool. Your, whoop. You got foam? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> oh, that is cool. <laughs> Super cool. You guys are yeah, lucky. Actually, like, I was talking to my iPad, like, like, um, jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. Oh, you broke the rope. <laughs> You're She's crazy. Like, I never broke any rope. <laughs> You always think that she's talking mean to you, don't you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Uh huh. Now I will get you. <laughs> don't stick it to my hair. <laughs> Back at ya. All right, who's gonna go outside and get Toby? Not me. Not me. Yeah, we love the bouncy stuff. Bouncing putty. Gross. This is good. That's a big. Pretty big ball. Just wait, Dad. Just wait, Dad. You hear how nice she is to him and how mean she is to me? Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> it has to be. Huh? Huh? This is how you roll it really good, really good, really okay, good. Give it! Perfect ball. Give it! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. That's so furry. 
Alright, let's Woo! see if we can get this dog in. Watch out all the hairs. Come on, Toby. I'm Come kidding. on. Come on, Toby. Woo! Come on. He, I don't know why. He did this with me, but he doesn't. He did not just walk in the door. Did he just walk in the door? Yeah, he just walked in. You He's are saying... joking me. No, that's so not fair. Why? Why does he do it for me, but he does it for you? They almost filled this little cup with all this stuff. Yeah, how does it, would it even fit back in there? Ah, it's insane. It's you won't believe what Gabby's doing all on her own. She's doing these all on her own. She's making some gluten-free muffins. Look at her. She's all over it. They're becoming a good chef. You gonna start cooking for Dad now? Kind of. I could cook kind hot of. dogs. Hot dogs? I know how to use the stove and the oven. Because I use the oven to make crackers. But not I think it's time to take some cooking lessons so you can cook for Dad. No. No? No cooking lessons. Anyways, there it is. That's the batter. I'm filling up these Halloween tins we had left over. We're gonna yeah, we have some them. other ones, but they're moving. And Sophie's doing a different kind of baking. Look, I'm making she's cookies. making foam cookies. Are you making foam cookies? Yep. What is that one? An angel. A foam angel. Doesn't look like an angel. <laughs> That's not an angel. It's Flip it over. Flip it over. It is a bird. Oh, it is an angel. No, oh, that doesn't look like an angel. Girls are playing video games. Sophie is watching for now. I'm going to play vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. No, I've been through this trail. Say goodbye. No, the championships. Bye, Becca. Say it. The playhouse I discovered. I don't need the championships. I know it's dope. Too busy.